What's up guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush, back at it again. Today we have an exciting video for you because I'm taking the Challenger back to stock. What I mean by that is the Challenger is currently sitting on some aftermarket wheels and tires. I'm not too big a fan of the wheel and tire setup on the car right now because it is not very good for daily driving. It's good for other reasons, but for daily driving, it is not a good setup. A little too wide in the back. Um, it constantly picks up a lot of rocks and stuff like that, and I just don't want to have this setup on. It's very expensive to change tires when they get very wide and big, which is currently what I have on the back. So these wheels and tires are better for racing, dig racing, stuff like that. But for everyday driving, and that's something I've been doing a lot of lately, it's better to go back to the stock setup. So the stock setup, as you guys have seen on the car previously, are these wheels, these SRT wheels. Um, they look very good on the car, definitely nice as well. And also, we have a sponsor for today's video, which is Goodyear. So Goodyear sent me these awesome Eagle Exhilarate tires. Um, they have some pretty cool features on them. They're great for daily driving and they actually give you really good performance in the wet and the dry. And lately it's been raining a lot, so actually I've been feeling the need to get something that's a little better in uh, the wet performance kind of aspect of things because these tires are very, very dangerous and these ones are not. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into some of the features that make these Eagle Exhilarates a good wheel and tire for your ride. Now, the coolest thing, which is the first time I've seen this on a wheel and, and tire actually, um, is that they have a built-in wear gauge. So if you see that, you can actually tell you know, how much of your uh, tire is worn just by looking at it because it has it built in. It has these little cutouts that I show you as your tread starts to go down, you can read it right there, which is pretty cool. The second thing is the pattern. If you notice, the pattern on these uh, tires make them great for wet, driving and lately it's been raining a lot so that means you're going to be a lot safer on the roads because you'll be able to actually uh, have traction in the rain which is very very important especially when you drive a car with close to 500 horsepower it can be a little little scary when you don't have the right tires on it the next thing which is pretty cool is that these tires also have a system which allows the rim to sit a little further in therefore protecting it from, you guessed it, curb rash. And that's my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> I let my dad borrow the car and we have this beautiful curb rash that happened. So if I had these mounted on these wheels on these tires, I probably would have avoided that because I can, as you can see, it sits a lot further in, allowing there to be protection from the curbs. So we got all the wheels and tires in here except for two. I will have to make a second trip. There's just no way this is gonna work otherwise. But here we are, got one tire chill in the front and then another three in the back along with two rims. We're gonna go ahead and head over to the tire shop, drop these off and then go back and get the other ones. Oh man, it's gonna be a fun day. Here we go. Woo. Nice little rumble. the SRT again some fresh new shoes on her I guess tires and it's pretty crazy I'd fit all of that into this two-door uh, muscle car and I probably need some new rotors real soon you can see the uh, heat marks on them 
because I am rocking ceramic, uh, carbon ceramic pads. So you can see the rotor is worn a few places there, but I think it's still got a little bit of life in it. They're still not warped, which is good. But they do show some, uh, some heat marks on them. All right guys, so the new tires are going on. These are the Eagle Accelerates. And there's the wheel. Here we are, last step is to torque down your wheels. Remember to do that anytime you get new wheels and tires mounted on the car, you wanna make sure they're torqued down, especially when you go you know, at some pretty fast speeds. So the tor torque specs are what, 100 foot pounds? Uh, we'll 115. 115 foot pounds is what we're being torqued down to. Now it's time to head home and get these all cleaned up because they have been a little dirty in storage, but Get them all cleaned up and ready to go. SRT is back to being stock, guys. This is the stock life right here. All right, guys, so just finished up at the tire shop, and I'm so happy to not have a tire light anymore. As you can see, uh, all the sensors are reading well, so we're good to go. And these tires, I can already tell you right now, they feel very comfortable. Obviously, there's more sidewall. So it's gonna ride a lot smoother now than it did on the lower profile tires that were previously on the car. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put these things to the test and report back to you guys, see how they are. Um, so we're probably gonna do a little bit of driving today just to kind of see how these uh, tires feel. But I'm pretty excited. Anytime you get new tires, it's an exciting feeling. What's up guys? So it's been a couple days and I wanted to make a little bit of an update video before I ended this video telling you about how the wheels and tires have been ever since I put them back on. And the reason being is because I'm actually shocked at how nice of a ride uh, these wheels are and how much traction I'm getting. Um, before I really thought that I needed 315s all the time to be able to put the power down, but these 
tires have proved that is not the case. Uh, they are actually giving me a very good amount of traction. I haven't been able to get the wheels to spin, um, you know, for any type of like roll. As if I hit the throttle, it actually hooks up. And my friends were shocked as well. So uh, definitely very satisfied with these uh, Eagle Exhilarates tires. They have shown me or proved to me that I don't need to be rocking the 315s, that I will get a decent amount of grip with these, um, considering that they're only 275. So pretty happy about them. They ride pretty quiet, so there's not really a lot of road noise or anything. And uh, they actually look pretty good on the car too. Uh, they have like a nice sidewall design. So I'm pretty satisfied. And I wanted to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Gidear uh, for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are looking for new tires, check out the link in the description so you can check out and see if they offer um, these tires in you know the size that you need because I totally recommend them. They're really nice tires Even the guys at the tire shop uh, said they were pretty nice um, Quality tires, so there's a lot of tread on them as you can see brand new tires look pretty good on these SRT wheels So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did drop a like if you knew the channel hit that subscribe button My name is Rush, and I'll catch you in the next one